from the Director and Dean of the College of Engineering and Built Environment at the Technological University Dublin. Well, I am by background a geo-surveyor, or in Portuguese, an agrimensor. And I chose to do that field of study because I wanted a job that combined the possibility of working outdoors, being able to move to different locations, and had an element of maths in it because I had reasonably good maths ability. Not brilliant, but good, and I enjoyed it. I think what inspired me was when I was traveling, let's say just in the back of the car with my parents, and I would see people out on building sites or out working beside roads or maybe on um, archaeological sites, that sort of area. And I thought, I'd like to do that. I know I'm maybe not that physically strong, but there must be something I can do that would allow me to work in that field and be able to do the outdoor stuff and not be stuck in an office. So I spoke to my career guidance teacher and she presented me with a program in geosurveying, which was at the Dublin Institute of Technology, which is the precursor to where I am now in the Technological University of Dublin. And that was an inspiring moment. At the moment, I'm working on a number of interesting topics, one which relates to energy performance of buildings and the role that building information modeling and management can have within that area. So I've moved from purely looking at geomatics, which is measurement of the size and shapes of objects on the earth, to how you can use those measurements to actually influence the way that buildings perform. And this all feeds into an agenda of managing climate change. And that makes a difference. And that's what excites me at the moment. A variety. I mean, I, there is no way I go into my job and do the same thing two days in a row. And whether that is when I'm teaching um, and I still teach a number of modules, or whether I'm supervising PhD students, or whether I'm engaging with colleagues, and particularly it's that multidisciplinary collaboration with colleagues from right across the architecture, construction, engineering backgrounds that I find extremely exciting. And it's a great way to be able to work. Well, I believe that I already am in as much as I work very hard to make sure that I find meaning in the work that I do. So sometimes when you're looking at elements of the job, you might think, does this really help anyone? But now, particularly because I'm working on items that relate to climate change and managing the amount of carbon emissions that are come out of the construction sector, I think that is very meaningful and that will help me to make a difference. But also one of the other really important things is not to try to do it on your own to work as part of a team, to find a good team to work with. And when you do that, then the impact you can have is significantly more. Well, one of the items at the moment is that I um, head up the leadership team of our college. And at the moment of the 11 people, there are me and two other females on that. Only one of those is the head of school, one is the college manager. I would like to see significantly more gender balance in that team. I would also like to ensure that we bring about policies within the, the university environment that are more family friendly, that enable anyone who has a caring role. And for that, I mean both 
make it easy for both men and women to combine their careers with caring roles and for it to be seen as equally important for men to undertake the caring roles outside of work as well. And I would like to think that some of the research work that I'm doing around um, enabling better building and better construction to support the management of carbon emissions and climate change will start to bear fruit as well. So making an influence in terms of policy with government, in terms of practices that are undertaken with companies. Because the work that I do now in terms of construction, it's related to BIM and Lean. And BIM is Building Information Modeling Management. Lean is about removing waste and non-value adding processes. In both of those, what you need to do is start with the end in mind. In other words, what do you ultimately want your building or your piece of infrastructure to do? And then work backwards from that. Over 50% of the users of these products, buildings, railways, roads, etc., are women. So shouldn't their opinion be taken into account as well? Of course it should. So therefore, we need more women in roles that influence how our buildings are built, how our cities are formed, what our um, communities are like. And when we have that, then we will have a better, more equal society. And to do that, we need more women in pursuing STEM education so that they can actually be prepared and ready to take up their roles. They have the ability, there just traditionally has been less encouragement to go into these roles, but they are equally rewarding as a lot of other roles and the influence that you can have is very significant. And we need more women to take up these roles. <music> I think I would just say don't doubt yourself keep going with this this is going into a stem role is definitely something that you can do and you will be successful in doing and just keep pushing yourself but what I would say is as soon as possible work on your network try and find people who can give you insights who can help you along the way and people are generally very delighted to be able to do this and I would have loved to meet more people who could have helped me on that journey but I have to say that everyone who I have worked with male or female has always given me full support and I think the areas of STEM are actually very collaborative despite the fact of what contracts tend to do in terms of making um, some things more difficult but definitely find your tribe, go with your network. You can do it. There is no reason why you would do this any less well than your male colleagues or your male friends. So go for it. That's what I would say.